Time now for the Sean Miller postgame interview. Coach, congratulations. Always seems Arizona and UCLA get into battles like this, and your guys really had to, to bear down there in the second half to, to get the win. You know, we did. It was a tale of two different halves uh, in the first half. You know, their perimeter is very, very difficult to defend. And, you know, I thought Isaac Hamilton had an amazing performance, but a, especially an amazing first half. And uh, he was a big difference. I think he had 17 points at the half of why we were down by 10. And we had a number of breakdowns. We were tentative. We weren't as sure. We weren't as hard working on defense as, as we could have been. And, you know, a tale of two halves was in the second half, we were much different. You know, I felt like even the shots that they made, the drives that they got were hard earned. Our effort level was outstanding. We had individual defenders really step up. And, you know, I want to credit two seniors, you know, Caleb Tarzuski, And I told Caleb after the game, I haven't seen him ever rebound like he did tonight. And he's rebounding at a career best level, but 10 defensive rebounds, 14 for the game. There were times where just his physicality dominated the action. And defensively, he's always in my opinion, among the best doing it. And uh, he certainly was in the second half of tonight's game. And the other guy was Gabe York. You know, he had his 15 points, which we count on day in, day out. But his defense in the second half was outstanding. And I challenge the guys at halftime, but in particular our seniors who are in the month of February, not coming down this path again to raise their level. And our, our defense was just much better in the second half. Now, you're going to say our offense was much better, too, but they're connected, Brian. If you constantly are getting scored on or constantly fouling, your offense is always facing five on five, a set defense. If you're able to get defensive stops, steals, shot blocks, and you can get out in transition, you have easier scoring opportunities, and your defense feeds your offense. And I, really, in the second half, that was, that was what happened to us. Because your team plays so much man-to-man -man defense, was it just a matter then of the, in the second half? You obviously don't change anything schematically. It just matter the guys tightening up. That's right. I mean, it wasn't a whole lot. You know, UCLA had a long break between their last game at SC, and we anticipated that, of course, you're going to put a few wrinkles and do some things for your own team. And some of those things that they did were very effective. As we learned them throughout the game, we were able to help our team a little bit. But it comes down to concepts. What are the things that we do? Where are we supposed to be? And when we do the things we're supposed to do and we're where we, we're supposed to be, they may make the shot, but it's going to be a challenge shot. It's going to be a, a defended shot. And, and those are the ones where we just had too many breakdowns in the first half. We did a much better job in the second half. Second career start for Parker Jackson Cartwright. Both of them, uh, it just seems like he has relished the opportunity and been such a, a key part. He gets a career high 16 points tonight. That Obviously, that last three-pointer was huge. But uh, to, to be able to step in uh, when, when Kadeem's under the weather like that, I mean, how special is that to have a guy like Parker? You know, I, I said to Parker um, a long time ago, and we talked about him so much in the non-conference season. You remember he hit the drought. He was in a shooting slump. He, st he started to let misses bother him. And I kept saying, I'm telling you, Parker's a very good three-point shooter. Well, if you check back with him here in mid-February, you cannot let him open. He he's one of our team's best three-point shooters. And now he's shooting it with confidence and all of his experience is to his advantage. In the inside-out game, the, the Caleb had the assist to Parker on that last three-point shot. But a couple of those tonight, a couple of three-point shots came on the ability of your guys inside to, to spot their teammate outside. Yep. Inside-out basketball, good things happen when we get it to the post. Ryan gets fouled. Caleb gets fouled. They shoot a high percentage. But you're right. They've learned to take what the defense gives. And when they're double-teamed, they're passing it out. And I would, th I would say Parker, all three of his three-point makes came from throw it inside. They found him, and he made the defense pay. All right, congratulations, Coach. We'll see you Sunday. Thank you. And Coach Sean Miller here at Court 7 at Yale Center. With